Well, we've been lucky this year. Christmas has fallen on a Friday, which is the Afghan weekend. And on the Islamic calendar, they've had a public holiday for the Thursday. So it's given us two days of uh, relatively low tempo operations to do our Christmas celebrations. G'day guys, I'm Frankie. I'm here in Camp Cargo in Kabul. We're cooking up an Aussie barbecue. Uh, lots of onions, sangers, steaks, a bit of marinated chicken. Good to go, just reminds us of home. You know, we're loving it here. <laughs> Activities have included a fancy dress fun run that the British organised. Uh, we've had an Anzac barbecue with the Kiwis. The Danes celebrate Christmas on the 24th, so they've imported a fir tree and decorated it and uh, have danced around that and distributed presents. We had uh, each partner nation, each of the four nations, contributed a, a sporting activity. Uh, there was volleyball, there was a couple of more crazy uh, Scandinavian games uh, and a quiz night was, uh, was held last night. Well, I think the highlight for the mentors was the dawn march at uh, minus five temperatures up to Charandaz for the sunrise and that really did give us a good perspective on how beautiful this country can be. Uh, and There is a, a tendency to just look at the negatives but it is a stunning place and, and part of what we're doing here is giving the Afghans some hope for the future, which is also a, a part of the Christmas theme. Being deployed strips Christmas of all the, the lead up hype and you tend to focus on what's important, which is spending time with family, uh, spending time with friends, uh, looking to the future. And if you can't be with your family, then uh, you might as well be with your army family. So it's good to be able to come together and celebrate Christmas.